Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Bridgerton collection at Bath & Body Works. So if you guys are interested in seeing what my quick thoughts are, then keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Oshumare. It is so nice to meet you. On this channel, I talk about all things smell good. So if you're into smelling good, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, hey, it is so good to see you. All right, you guys, so let's jump right into it. So this is what the body mist looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this a dozen times already because this has been highly sought after. And I also picked up the body lotion to go with that and i didn't get anything else because although it was super cute and i love me some bridgerton i don't love the prices of any of that stuff because it's not on sale so this one i picked up with a reward this one i paid full price which was 17.95 the way i justified it y'all was that's pretty much some starbucks a couple starbucks and i just decided to get a body mist instead of some starbucks okay okay so I've been wearing this for the last two days just so I could really bring you guys a real review, not just a first impression. I love doing first impressions, but I wanted to see how this was going to wear. Was it beast mode? Was it just a normal body mist? So that way I could bring you guys, you know, a little bit more information than just saying what it smells like. And so let's go over the notes first. So in this one, you have sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. I don't really pick up a whole lot of jasmine at all. This is pretty much a peachy juicy scent with whiffs of floral notes because of the daffodil. The daffodil is very pretty in here, but as far as this being something that we've never smelled before, it really isn't that, just being honest. I mainly got it because, like I said, I like Bridgerton, but we've had a few peachy scents come out lately, so this one kind of just falls into the same type of category, if I'm being honest. I feel like the lotion pretty much smells the same. Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna put a little bit of the lotion on this side and then I'm going to spray this one on this side. Okay so the lotion to me smells a little bit more floral but overall it's still a fruity floral and if you like peach I think you would like this however I think it's still not going to be for everybody I think it's going to be a hit or a miss. I also know that because when I went to pick this up I was asking people in the store what they thought about it and it was pretty much 50-50. It seemed like the younger girls they weren't really into it. They thought that it was a little too mature of leaning which is it was kind of shocking to me but at the same time being that this is like a Bridgerton inspired collaboration type of body mist it would make sense that this is supposed to smell a little old school you know so being that I am old school because I'm in my 30s I don't mind it. I really do like it. And as far as the longevity, you know, is it a beast? Is it going to be a heavy projector? Not really. So I sprayed this on me yesterday morning and today actually, and I had to re-up because I couldn't really smell it. So I would say that this is very moderate on the sillage and on the projection and all of that. I do really like the scent, but it stays really close to your skin. So you just have to know that this is not gonna be super, super beastly. And I don't think the fragrances back then were supposed to just knock people over their head. You know, I think that they were supposed to be like, you know, floral, like a little sultry and seductive and lure people in. And that's exactly what I'm kind of getting from this. Overall, it's just a nice peachy scent with hits of floral, you know. And because I wanted this one to be a little bit more fruity, y'all know I love me a good fruity and floral type of fragrance, but I just wanted this one to be just a little bit more fruity. So I have been pairing mine with Skylar's Peach Fields. And this just kind of amps up the peachy notes in here and it makes it a little bit brighter and a little bit juicier and it tapers down some of the daffodils in here and makes it less floral so if you're not a floral person you love more so fruity fragrances and you have peach feels from skylar then i would say put these together because they are really nice and they complement each other really nicely in comparison to peach bellini this one is way more subdued than this one. This one projects much longer, it's louder, and it's more of a peachy, orangey type of scent versus like peaches and some floral notes. Yeah, this one is way more potent. It smells, y'all, just like the candle. So if you know what the candle smells like, it smells just like that. This one is like hitting you all up in your sinuses and your nostrils when you smell it and it projects very well and as far as i believe i think this one has really good longevity i can't remember i haven't really worn it out yet because it's not super hot but this one is much more of a beast 
overall than the Bridgerton collaboration. And then as far as pretty as a peach, this one is more softer and subdued than Diamond of the Season. So I would say that this one is like smack dab in the middle of these two. So if this one's too loud, it's too fruity, it's too orangey for you, and you just, you don't want to smell like this on the regular. And this one is just too soft for you. And you need something that's a little bit more louder, but not that much louder, just like a tad bit louder. Then I think you can't go wrong with Diamond of the Season. And I actually like Diamond of the Season a little bit more than I like Pretty as a Peach. This one is very pretty, but there's something a little off-putting with this body mist. Every time I smell it, it smells really pretty, but it's got this like stale undertone. It's something that doesn't really agree with me when I smell it. I like mixing it with other things and I have to mix it with other things because I can't get over whatever that note is that I smell in here. With this one, I'm getting that peach like smack dab in the beginning as well as pretty as a peach, but I don't get that weird undertone-ness and it's a little bit brighter and I can smell it a little bit more. Another thing that I like about Diamond of the Season is that it's kind of fizzy and sparkly. So it kind of reminds me of like a, like a drink, like some type of drink that has maybe like some ginger ale and some peach mix in it with like a shot of something, but it's like fizzy and sparkly. I don't know if that's a Bellini or if it's a mojito, but it kind of reminds me of that. So yeah, it's got this like sparkly fizziness to it. And this is more of a soft, pretty, slightly weird undertone type of scent. So I would say I really do like it. Um, do I need anything else in this collection? No, not really. The body wash would be cute, but I, I really don't need the body wash in this. I really do like the candle though. The candle was very, very pretty. It has like a beautiful black glass top and it was very, very pretty, very, very nice. But that price tag, I just, I didn't want to spend $32 on that candle just to have it. So hopefully it's still around when they have some type of sale. If not, it's fine. I just, I don't want to drop $32 on a Bridgerton candle when I have other peachy type of scents. It's a collector's item, but it, it I just, you know, I decided to pass on it. Especially when I know I was leaving and I was going straight to Ulta and Sephora right when I left Bath and Body Works. And I had some things that I wanted to pick up there. So, you know, I'm trying to pick and choose how I spend my money and not just lose my mind every time there's some type of sale or something that I want. Yeah, you know, I can't be getting all the body creams, all the lotions, all the candles, all the fragrances. Like that's just too much. Like girl, like calm down, just calm down. So for now I have the body mist as well as the body lotion. And if you like fizzy, peachy, slightly floral type of fragrances, then I would say give this a sniff. It's not on sale right now. I don't know when there's gonna be another sale. I would say, Y'all, you should just wait until there's a sale. I mean, it's really nice, but you know they're coming out with a whole collection of Bridgerton. There's gonna be four other scents. My sales associate told me that it's coming out towards like the 20 something of this month. So I would just wait. And you know, there might be something in there that you guys like a little bit more. For all my gourmand girls, there is like a, did they say a snipperdoodle? It's some type of, I don't know if it was snipperdoodle or it was something, some type of Gourmand um, collaboration Bridgerton scent is coming out. I'm really interested in that one. They have a woody one. They have a another floral one or another fruity one. It's four additional ones that's coming out. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there'll be a sale coming up then so you'll be able to get the whole collection. However, if you love Bridgerton like me and you don't want it to get sold out, then you can go ahead and pick it up. But we only get this one for free as far as using our rewards because this is $17.95. So they, they could have hooked us up and, you know, gave us this for $16.95, but they knew what they were doing. They only wanted to give us this lotion for free, which is fine. But if you get the lotion, you'll pretty much know what it smells like. And don't forget to pair it with um, Skylar's Peach Fields if you have it to just make this one a little bit juicier if that's what you're going for. But this is just the combination that I've really been enjoying right now. So that's all my thoughts on that scent. But y'all, while I was in the store, I also went and I smelled Blooming Bouquet, the new fragrance that they have. I don't know when that one's coming out in a full size, but my store only had the tester little pin. They didn't even have the tester pin for me to purchase. But y'all, I smelled it and I thought immediately it was so beautiful and just, you know, I like florals, but it smelled kind of like a garden of flowers and it just smelled perfect for spring and summer. 
And then as I kept smelling it, me and the sales associate were talking and we were like, girl, this smells like Chance Otantra, like dead on y'all. So Bath Body Works and made another dupe. So in that one, you have notes of Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sandback, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. And y'all, it smells like a garden. It smells like Chance Otandra. So if you love that, then I would say pick that new Blooming Bouquet up when it comes out. I'm getting the whole collection. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I just talked about Chance Otandra in one of my last videos. I said it's like the perfect spring fragrance. So those two would pair really nicely. So if you were curious about that, I would say if it's available at your store, the little um, spray pen thing, then you should get it or just order it online because I think that's what I'm going to do because I have no idea when they're actually coming out with a body mist. All right, you guys. So that is it. Those are all of my thoughts about the new Diamond of the Season Bridgerton Collection at Bath & Body Works as well as Blooming Bouquet. Comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys pick up anything? And if you did, what did you pick up? What do you think about the new scent? And what do you think about Blooming Bouquet? And also, do y'all watch Bridgerton? Y'all, I love Bridgerton. I did a whole Bridgerton theme video last year, but y'all was so new on here that nobody watched it. <laughs> but I was so excited. I was matching characters to fragrances and it was just so much fun. So if you love Bridgerton like me, I'll link it down below for you if you want to watch it. If you guys did like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And as usual, take care of yourself. God bless you all. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.